So I have seen another of your posts where and I found it very interesting and I really want to try to give it a, I think it's a very nice way and, and a neat way for people to understand a process as well uh, is combining your process map with wireframes mm. of the application. Yeah, I think. And I, if I if I understand correctly, so correct me if I'm wrong, but effectively, this would be one of the output, I think, towards the end. So you have your process, you then you and your team are doing some prototyping. And then yeah. as an output, you're producing this process map and then you lay out the prototypes. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, so the, the part of that kind of solution mapping framework I've got it ends up at a point where we've got a business process diagram and some user stories that are tied to it. Yeah. And then as we kind of go more into design afterwards, yeah, we may start creating some, you know, some sketches of some, you know, um, wireframes and screens or yeah, even to a point where maybe we build a canvas app or build an app as a prototype. And what I'll do is just to help, um, our stakeholders and project team understand how okay, well, where do these wireframes appear in the process i'll take screenshots of those and put them onto my board and then i'll have arrows pointing to okay in this step of the process the user's doing you know maybe they're entering some project information into their project app this is the screen they're looking at and so um it's just super clear as they go through the process they can see okay at this stage in the process i'm looking at this screen then yeah. the screen then the screen uh and just brings it all to life um, and I think, you know, it helps just, you know, get everyone on the same page and have that same understanding. Um, but also when you kind of go through, say, testing and stuff, we can, um, you know, just kind of helps the testing team get on board if they haven't been with you through the, the, the design, um, design process as well. So just a, for me, it's another way of communicating yeah. back to the, you know, the, the team and making sure everyone's on the same page around, yeah, at this stage in the process, we're looking at this screen, um, yeah it just helps kind of bring it to life really yeah yeah no i find it yeah very interesting and i definitely want to give it a try um i remember someone commenting on a post i think it was one of my posts a few a year or two years ago and i was also kind of going through i think conceptual diagrams some kind of diagrams whatever and then that person shared with me how they they were mapping process maps so they were mapping business process diagrams incorporating um entity diagrams below so they were saying you know when i create a case that is the case entity below and i, I had the process diagram on top and then he had the entity diagrams kind of evolving as you were going through the process i found it also quite interesting didn't try but i found it also quite interesting another way of representing which is kind of useful where right? well, you think about you have a case then you respond to via an email then you link that email to the diagram so you have now case and email together then you have knowledge articles you can represent you know a relationship between case knowledge articles so yeah interesting how people have different way of you know describing and mapping um their ideas using those diagrams and yeah interesting yeah, yeah i definitely definitely identify with that right i think like my miro boards just they just, as the design comes in, they expand more and more and more. Yeah. So I do it. Yeah. I will also add in EAD diagrams yeah. onto the Miro board. And quite often what I do also, especially just depending on the developers I'm working with, if people are quite new to the power platform and dataverse as well. So I'm just kind of, you're finding that I am working with people who maybe come from a different, you know, maybe they're pro developers from a different background, don't understand dataverse, but have been thrown into the power platform and yeah. told they can come and create an app. Um, I'll put an ERD diagram onto my mirror board and I'll have arrows pointing to this, um, you know, maybe this table or this, um, collection or whatever, uh, inside the, the wireframe yeah. on my UI, this relates to this, this table oh, yeah, right. and okay. the ERD diagram. So they can help kind of start to picture, okay, this is how the, the model of the, you know, the, the ERD diagram starts to generate the user interface. And I think. If you come from a dynamics background and we're model driven apps, right? Well, like we just know that you build these tables together and it spits out a model driven app yeah. at the other end. Um, 
for people who aren't used to that, I think it's a it's a pretty weird concept to try and figure out, okay, my entity model defines my UI. Um, yeah. And so I think, you know, again, just drawing it on a board and mapping your ERD tables to your wireframes um, can help, you know, help just, just another way of communicating yeah. with your development team as yeah. well. Yeah.